Hello guys, this is Lou Vision, back from my Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3 level 99 run. Uh, next up we've got Araguay Woods, uh, saving Bocco. I've still got Ramza as his samurai. Uh, Tim is now a ninja. I want him to just rush ahead and... Wait, oh no, that was that <laughs> He's got that deployment. Uh, I just want him to rush ahead and kill that dark one at the back before it kills Bocco. I've got... Savage Maker the Priest. I want her to learn some white magic. And the Chosen One the Knight. Now, I've got him here here with a Defender and Weapon Guard. Uh, the reason for Weapon Guard, I do have uh, HP Restore, which I was thinking of using. Because, frankly, he has enough health that I don't think these guys can kill him without putting him in critical first. And that provides a good chance for him to just get back, straight back up to full. But on the other hand, this way he has, what is it, an 84 chance of dodging anything from three sides? I think it's 84 percent. No, that sounds wrong. What do we got? 72 percent chance. So, to be honest, I have tried this attempt, uh, I've attempted this fight a couple of times with most of my team as Lancers, just for JP and Sandwich Maker as a mediator. Well, damn it. Sorry about that, I was rushing through the dialogue. those previous attempts uh, didn't work out too well. I didn't have the damage or the sustainability to actually fight through it. Okay, so starting off as Tim, he can move not quite far enough. But he doesn't have any throw skills either, so I'm, I'm just going to move forward and wait in place. He may even get killed, but he has the angel ring just in case that happens. Bucko's taken some damage early on, hopefully not enough to make too much of a difference. Uh, she can't do anything yet. He is, wow, putting him in critical. And killing him, but luckily he hits his own guy in the process. And that one would have killed him anyway. Now. These two are not on the same height, unfortunately, so I can't elemental them, and I can't get close enough to earth slash them, which would be perfect right about now. Except he doesn't even have earth slash, so what am I talking about, right? So I can pretty much just hit this guy. 520 damage, and I'll just wait in place. And what can this guy do? can run up here, still not close enough to earth slash them. Not by a long shot. And spin fist would only hit one. Yeah, all different heights. He still has quite a lot of health. But I will walk up here and maybe I'll be able to kill this guy with a sword. 288. 216. This says 312, I'm not sure if that is, no, 234, but good enough. <coughs> Maybe she can finish it off. Okay, his turn, I want him to go, I want to see how much damage he'll do first, 364. That is worth him getting killed again by counter three. I 
don't really want to move her forward because that provides three targets for a, um, a spin punch, whatever they call it. And frankly, I can't get in range right now anyway. I'm going to move her over here so she can run down that way and play it a bit safer. Anyone I can throw a potion out for JP? Nope. Turn punch. Works for me. He can heal himself. Oh, they're confusing him. Confusion and darkness, that's not good. Pull and punch on Agrius, she has defender, some evasion. Mutilate, that's an instant kill I believe, but he still has 72%. Ah, chocking ball for the kill here. So now Boko is out of danger, thankfully. I think my knight still blocked that. And Ramses still, actually. He's actually just saved himself from the confusion, thankfully. Um, he's already healed himself back up, so I can't. Can't actually use a potion on him for the JP, but I'm close enough now, I believe. No. It... Oh, these are lined up now, so I should be able to Earth Slash. 288, 288, neither is a kill. And they are on different heights, aren't they? And it's just not, just too far away to hit that one at the end. Oh well. And they may retaliate, but he has evasion. They didn't retaliate, okay. Why didn't she, oh. Oh, is that zero vertical tolerance? It might be. Bocco's waiting in place. This guy going up to fight Rams again. I gouge. Missed. Ooh, that could have been deadly. The amount of health he's lost. Now luckily, I'm just in time to catch his turn. Get him back up. I'm not worried about Gafgarion. And guard it again. See, that, that evasion was worth more than... Uh, what was the other one? HP restore? much more. Definitely worth doing it that way. So it's Tim's turn now. He can't really do anything where he's standing. So I'm just doing this for some JP. Maybe I know it would be better strategy wise to wait in place and you know, get his next turn sooner. I'm not too worried about that though. I've got this under control. Ooh, nice lineup. And it's still got a 72% evasion has really saved me this round. That's a kill, that's not a kill, that's a kill. So, let's do this. Let's see, going for the turn punch on Ramza. Okay. Boko waiting in place. I don't know what she's doing. Now, it looks like uh, only a one more move that she gets to do this game <coughs> but it's for the JP why not let's <coughs> move HP up I'm gonna milk this a little bit for some JP on that priest I haven't had enough chance to uh, to actually do that yet. This is on two. She's actually meat shielding him, okay. Again, 
there is the very slight chance that Ramza will accidentally kill him. Oh. Not anymore. He's got his health back. But, yeah, that one was just JP. Back in the water where he belongs, or is that water there? No, just back in the ditch where he belongs there. Probably going to turn punch all three of them now. No, tackle. Okay. I think I'll call it a day here. He's only level uh, 89. I don't even know if I'll use him at any point, but anyway. That was Uruguay Woods, thank you for watching, next up Zero Kill Falls.